So this tutorial is all about how to interpolate, and in particular how to interpolate between values in steam tables. So we start out by considering two values in the steam table that each have a value which we represent by x1 and y1. So this could be temperature and pressure or enthalpy and pressure, any two variables. If we assume that that variable varies linearly between the two tabulated points, then we can calculate the slope of that line. So obviously the slope is given by y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. If we're then given some value x that is between our two tabulated values of x1 and x2, we want to know what is the corresponding value of y. So very simply we can calculate that value of y using y1, the slope of our line, and the difference between x and x1. So if we expand that using the expression for slope from above, we get this expression, which is the expression that we'll use for interpolating in the steam tables to find values between two values. So if we look at our first example, we're going to calculate what is HF, what is the fluid enthalpy at 0.05 bar for saturated water. So we can see that 0.057 bar fits between these two values and so the enthalpy will be between 145 and 152. So just writing those two values down because we're not going to be referring back to the table. The enthalpy of saturated water at 0.055 bar was 145 joules per kilogram and at 0.060 bar was 152 joules per kilogram. So if we just substitute those values into our expression that we derived earlier, we can directly calculate the enthalpy of saturated water at 0 0.057 bar. So it's 145 plus the slope of the line multiplied by that difference in x, which is 0 0.057 minus 0 0.055. When we calculate that, we get 147.8 joules per kilogram. That should be joules. When we check that, we can see that the value we've calculated sits between the two tabulated values. And that's as it should be. Okay, If you get a value that sits outside either of those two values, then obviously you've made some kind of mistake. So that makes sense, and that's good. We'll do a second example, working back in the other direction. So if we are given the enthalpy, and we want to work out, for example, what is the saturation pressure, we can also do that. So here we'll try and find the saturation pressure for liquid water where the enthalpy is 132 joules per kilogram. So we can see that 132 joules per kilogram sits between 130 and 138, so our saturation pressure will be between those two values. So the saturation pressure of water with an enthalpy of 130 joules per kilogram is 0 0.045 bar, and the saturation pressure of saturated water with 138 joules per kilogram enthalpy is 0 0.050 bar. So, substituting those two values into our equation that we derived earlier, we can directly calculate what is the saturation pressure of water that has an enthalpy of 132 joules per kilogram. And it's just 0 0.045 plus the slope of the line multiplied by the difference x1, x minus x1. So, if we calculate that, we get 0 0.04625 bar and checking, we can see that that sits in here between the values 0 0.045 and 0 0.05, so that makes sense, and that's good.